Hey guys, it's Mika and I'm back with another YouTube video and as you guys can tell by the title I don't know what today's video is going to be about so basically guys, today's video is going to be about the 12 steps to starting your own online business in 2022 now, I already know said January 2022 gone already but we're still in 2022, aren't we? and uh, we're almost at the second quarter of 2022 so the second quarter of 2022 is gonna be from april to april may june yeah from april to june and speaking of april the best month of the year i don't know what that mean my birthday is gonna be coming up soon and i still don't know my plans as yet hmm. but anyways guys we're not here for that today so um, today's video, the 12 steps to start an online business. I was supposed to, this was supposed to be like the first video, no. After the introduction of myself on the channel, this was supposed to be like the second video to be recorded on the channel. But unfortunately, I don't know how life go and all that. So we never get to upload that video until today. Because today is like the first day that I've actually had for myself in quite a long time. So I'm going to try and record as many videos as possible today so I can keep the content coming for you guys. Now if it's the first time that you're coming across this channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Minka. Over here we do fashion, business and lifestyle videos. So if that's something that you are interested in and you actually like the content that I provide over here, definitely hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and stay tuned so that you can be notified whenever your girl uploads a new video. Oh guys, I'm in the lovely outdoor today and I must apologize in advance for any noise or not here in the background or any background noises or anything like that at all I really hope to say you know as much today because I actually recorded a video already and it was like um on a Wednesday afternoon and the place said noisy when I hear a food because I live near the road when I hear every single thing every single funny business you are chat up a road when I hear that in the video so in advance I'm apologizing for any background noises that you guys might be hearing the only noise on probably I hear right now at the wind because um out here windy today don't know why and as I said I live close to the roadside so I'm live close to the road so like any vehicle or anything I pass oh not gonna hear it but ignore that focus on the information that I'm giving you in this video and I don't know out here does, out here does have a vibe out here does nice I actually like it out here um, probably me start record most of my video them right here at this spot. I mean, I know it does chill, and I'm not really, I'm not really much of an outdoor person, cause what me normally do, me normally day in the house for like the whole entire day, and like in the even now, me come out up the veranda for like I come out here for like five minutes, and then I go back in. I swear, but never start um make sun like it's the more often still. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, I have my notebook right here. So this is my notebook that I um, write down all my ideas in for YouTube videos and such. And it's in my favorite color red. But yeah, I'm as you blow still. So it's my favorite color red and YouTube color as well, red. And I have it right here, what we're doing and that. The 12 steps to starting an online business. So, if you guys are looking down, I'm looking in my notes that I've made. I'm actually making notes from last year because I found last year with that. From 2021, last year, we did actually start a channel here. But 2022, I must say, I've started this year. Now, step number one. So, the first step or the first step that I can give to you guys about starting your own business is to make sure make sure that you're truly passionate about becoming an entrepreneur 
because if you're not passionate about becoming an entrepreneur or starting a business or does a startup business be um practically just make some money um the disclaimer here are some news right here i'm sorry but starting a business is not going to make you have money or make you guys rich in a sense so starting a business doesn't mean that you're gonna have a lot of money in your account so starting a business you know means you're gonna start one business today go on instagram and post say oh i have a business come shop and then you're gonna see everybody come for in your dms and uh, um buy out your store i mean it can happen i'm not saying it can't happen but it can happen one percent out of 99 percent it can happen like if you're Cardi B and Kim Minaj or something like that but if you don't have a strong um, social media presence already or even if you have a social media presence it doesn't mean that your business at all your shop goes sell out right away so the first and the most important tip that I can give to you guys is to make sure that you're truly passionate about starting a business and there's a reason you're inside of my boss and there's a reason why I put this as number one because it's the most important thing I mean if I start something that you're not passionate about chances are that no sale day or that no sale days those no sale weeks those no sale months not gonna say a year but when those happen now we're not gonna get frustrated and I will get fed up cuz um, no broke one want some money and no money not coming out of the business then um probably eventually you go get stressed out fed up confused or whatever and close down the business because it was not something that you were passionate about in the first place to begin with so the most important step that i can give you guys is to make sure that you're passionate about starting a business before it become an entrepreneur i mean no some repeat that says Step three times already, but once it's already starting on a brain, once you bring yourself yourself, say that that right there is one of the most important steps in starting a business. Cause I told you guys in my first video already that um this is like my third year of entrepreneurship and I'm still not a millionaire as yet. So if you don't have it on the mind, say when I go start one business and make a lot of money our new business is gonna take off like you see on boards stop right there that now got um now your business can take off in the first month or so and um bringing you a lot of cash but as i said 99 percent of the time that ain't gonna happen so step number one make sure you're truly passionate about becoming an entrepreneur all right let's go into step number two now step number two is that you should get a notebook so step number two get a notebook for your business so this is where you're gonna write down all the business ideas that you may come up with in your head because um if you if you come up with the ideas in your head and then you don't write them down well, uh, we're not gonna forget them well unless you don't have a good memory but me myself me don't say i have about Mm. I have my notebook for my business. Well, I have notebooks for my businesses. Because every idea that I get, I want to write them down. Because if I don't write them down, I'm going to forget them. Number three is to write your business plan. Because we are going to write your business plan in a, if you don't have a notebook. And if you are going to write me middle, I already said me a brain and then to get to later. But step number three is to write a business plan for your business. Because if you just get up so yeah as I was saying now step number three is to write a business plan for your business cause if you just get up and start a business and then I have no plan on how you're going to actually conduct this business or execute this business chances are that business gonna fail because um how are you gonna do something without a business plan well speaking from my personal experience when i was just starting out my business i did not 
have a business plan. I had I did not have a business plan, but at least I had some things planned or I had some things uh planned out that I was gonna do for my business. And uh if you guys would like me to make a video, even I'm gonna know much skill, but I could give you my knowledge that I do know. Or better yet, guys go on YouTube here, type in how to write a business plan and see what the experts tell you because I ain't an expert on writing a business plan at all. Cause I know my still not done right. Cause I know my still not finished writing it as guarantee business plan as yet. But it's in the process though, it's in the process. Step number four. So step number four guys is to find your niche. What are you passionate about? Uh, what do you see lacking on the market that you know that you can supply? So that's step number four find your niche so what's a niche a niche is uh something that you see lacking on the market and you're going to fill that gap so there's a gap on the market say for example you have um, bad acne and you are someone in your family or like a friend uh you know that person has bad acne as well and you now take it upon yourself to go ahead and do all the research put in all the work to create a product on the market that treats acne because you see that um, that it's something on the market that is lacking and you in yourself know that you can supply that gap that is in the market so when you come up with your product on the market now it's something that people have been waiting for something that people have been anticipating so chances are your business is gonna be successful in the first year so that's something that you guys can definitely look into in your niche market now my niche that i do is for niche glam teak i love fashion so i started a business around fashion then for business supply wholesale now um i see where persons are creating online businesses and they don't necessarily have the suppliers or they don't know where they could get the supplies from so that's where business supply wholesale comes in to provide you with the supplies that you need to get your business started and then now step number five now step number five i don't know much about this step i'm still learning about it but i'm still gonna mention it in this video so that you guys can uh, learn about it too and be aware of it and that is to research your target market so from my understanding or from what I understand is that target market is a specific group of people that your products are meant, your products or your services are meant to target. Now me now with business of my wholesale, as I, as I just mentioned, my target market is um, young entrepreneurs who um, want to start a business are persons who already started their business and need supplies for their business so that's where business supply wholesale comes in there and then with Nika's Gum Teak now the person that I'm targeting for Nika's Gum Teak is persons who love hey is persons who love fashion and they want affordable um clothing sustain or supply their hunger or their need for fashion that's where business supply <laughs> That's where Nika's Glam Tea comes in now. Research the target market. So your target market, it should have, you should have that person, picture that person in mind. You should picture um, how that person looks, where that person shops, um, when they're on Instagram, what are the posts that they like, um, what is their age group, uh, their budget, what is your monthly income. So that's how you should be picturing your target market. As from what I've learned right here on YouTube. And that brings us to step number six which is to start researching your vendors so start start researching vendors for your business because in step number four you found your niche market that you're going to target or you found the or you found the product that you're going to apply so step number six now is to find those vendors that is going to supply you with the products that you need for your business and, um, let me just share some places with you guys on where you can find vendors for your business so you can find vendors on aliexpress alibaba instagram and of course hint hint business supply wholesale. and of course business supply wholesale because we're a wholesale vendor of course 
so uh, that's that's just the name of a few of the places on where on where you can find vendors so moving on to step number seven lucky seven so step number seven now uh, it's gonna be like a tedious part or the most time consuming part step number seven is to create your business name let us go up on instagram or just come up with one idea say um one business to be nika's collection i make up a just an example i make up on instagram now i'm seeing the name nika's collection already taken and what me now go do i put nika's underscore collection underscore j a underscore ah. <laughs> i let me take a minute to elaborate on that i hate that reason why reason being um says for example one new customer come across a business page and they might try search for your business page they search for your two time already or per, most person just search one time or so and them done so they search for your business page and they cannot find it yeah, because why your name having too much underscore or too much full stops and stuff like that so persons are not going to be able to easily um, find your business and come and shop with you or your business name is not unique so you're gonna face problems um, in the long run that's collection already raised up your business a long time you know our sister will over this all right uh, you know where does a come come with the name Nika's collection underscore J A. so when you go upon the company's office of Jamaica now to register your business or when you're ready for you register your business in general you find out that that business name is taken so when you have to get to know I sit down take time again and I plan out a new business name and like a rebranding strategy to rebrand your business again and what that is going to do in the long run is cost you so it's going to cost you your time and it's going to cost you money because you have to go sit down again you have to go um get a new website you have to go get a new logo new business card new flyers new thank you cards new everything so basically you're going to start afresh and start a new so just sit down in the first place and just get it done with now so let's do another first place and just um, get it done with properly. So let's sit down and start out a proper business name from the beginning because I'm speaking from experience. That's what happened to me. So when I was um, naming my business Nika's Fashion, what I thought about was my name is, well my nickname is Nika and I love fashion. So that was just something simple. So I named it Nika's Fashion. Then in the long run now when I was trying to register the business and get it legalized and stuff when I was trying to do that I realized that name is already taken so what I had to do I had to sit back and take a few months off and come up with a new name and like a rebranding strategy towards this new business now that I, that I own and operate Tanika's Lantique now that name is not taken on Instagram or anywhere else so I was able to actually go ahead and register that business and stay tuned guys I will be doing a video on how you can get your business registered because you're gonna get our business registered last month <laughs> I know me just feel so happy about that all right look at Rena coming up now step number eight is to create a logo and your slogan now you can create a logo on your own using um, apps or websites or you could find a good graphic designer when i say a good graphic designer i mean a good graphic designer that know what you want or what the customers want and can actually design a logo because i had an experience once where i told or showed the graphic designer drafting off what i want and my logo to look like and she just do what she want to do but me never in at the back and forth but i for it misses with herself so but just make it one and now i have a new logo that i absolutely love and I will let you guys know that the graphic designer that I use on Instagram that did that logo for me. So I'll insert it right there. What's her name again? Uh, hmm. Oh, Tash Tash MC Designs on Instagram. I'm gonna insert it on the screen so you guys can check her out. And um, her prices, guys. Her prices, her prices are absolutely reasonable. I believe I paid only two thousand five hundred dollars. For my logo and it wasn't on sale now 
I was gonna have her do a, um, another logo for me for a new business venture that I'll be venturing into soon but I think it's like three thousand dollars now for one logo so I think our price is raised um, since the last time I did my logo and that was like uh, November of last year but she's definitely a good graphic designer turnaround time is about three to five days or so I think yeah but I'm gonna come message her on Instagram and find out all of that information all in one. I would say yes, she's great and she did a great job with my logo and I absolutely love it. So big up to you. Yeah, so create your logo and your slogan. Now if you don't have the budget, if you actually go to a graphic designer to um have your logo designed, what you can do is just use the app or use a website to design a simple logo for your business to go on, you know, to go on use another time being until a business start make money and you could go ahead and actually invest in a logo design and create a slogan, create something catchy. Now your slogan could be uh like oh they have KFC KFC a slogan or finger licking good so you can have your uh business slogan. So you have uh naturally skins collection and that's a skincare line so but let's say that the um the tagline or the slogan is beautiful skin beautiful you so that's basically what a slogan is a slogan is just something short and catchy and of course um while creating your logo ensure that you use up your business colors in it so that when a person um, come across a brand they can know that that brand is Nika's Grantique or that brand is Business Supply Hotel. So the colors that I use for my brand um, Nika's Grantique is red, my favorite color, black and gold and I like a bit of white. Whenever you see a piece of content that incorporates those colors and I know what say, Nika's Grantique did that. So that's the power of uh, branding. Probably the one video on branding, you know, to go a little bit more in depth in it. I'm not sure of it, but probably the one video on it. And step number nine now. Step number nine is to go ahead and create your social media channels. So you'll create your Instagram, TikTok, your Facebook. <laughs> so you'll create your Instagram, your TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. I'll be just getting on Twitter other day, guys. That's about other day last night. Me just get on Twitter. I make my first um what I call it tweet. So you guys should definitely follow me on Twitter at Glamdalnika. So create all your social media um handles or all your social media channels. But the thing is that you guys should be consistent with it. Create two or three channels that you guys know that you will be consistent on and intertwine them with each other. So you know say um Facebook one, WhatsApp, Facebook one, Instagram, Facebook, I think messenger you know and them stuff there so um what you could do um you could create a instagram account a tiktok account probably a twitter account follow me on twitter or you know something like that and ensure that you remain consistent on those social media platforms that you choose because in truth and in fact consistency is key and that is something that i'm working on for this year is to remain um, consistent with my uploads with my uploads of course and also consistent with um, my social media handles in posting for my business we don't know but for my social media handles say my personal self me hardly post fast <laughs> my hardly post from my instagram or facebook page instagram me pop me how to use facebook you know? um i really use facebook again now, but me forget my on facebook in this year in my business that tell me the tell me since we're gonna do it last year and uh, we're not 2022 now i'm still gonna do it but for this year i'm definitely gonna get back on facebook i use facebook and instagram um interchangeably yeah use the two of those so create the social media platforms or the social media handles that you like to promote your business on and be consistent when posting on them because let me tell you guys, if you post this month and you don't post next month, so you post once a month, like your, um, let me not say, so if you post once per month on social media, who's going to remember you? Hmm? Remember, say one, remember say hundreds of thousands of business out there. So if you just come with your little self and I post once or so for the month, who's going to remember you? 
and that's just the truth you have to be consistent you have to remain consistent because you see people are post by on social media pages once a week once a month once every two months and stuff like that um they never will say they not get no sales why do you think you're not getting any sales it's because you're not remaining consistent with your business so that's why you're not getting any sales because um, at the end of the day social media is just um, meeting new people or finding new people to engage with at the end of the day that's what social media is so be consistent now and engage with your audience step number 10 now and that is to, is to go ahead and order those inventory for your business as well as your packaging supplies, your logo sticker, this business card, or thank you cards, or both of them. I know, but I just basically all of your inventory them on company Instagram page now. I'm not gonna say um, I'm not gonna say available. This is available because people are lightweight for them stuff, and that's something that people love about online. Cause uh, people love convenience, so. If you can offer them something right away, go ahead and offer it right away. As I'm doing now, it should be no need for Prime, so. And that's with Zip Mail, because I'm ordering not for the one time for the week. So, I'm working to get my orders out faster than usual. Step number 10, order your inventory, your packaging supplies, where you're going to package your order them in, or you're going to package them in bubble mailers. Um, Yeah, and all your packaging supplies um or you're gonna package them in bubble mailers poly mailers uh organza bags or holographic bags so that is something that you guys should definitely look into as well is um packaging your items because guys branding is key or um, pretty packaging definitely counts and when ordering the inventory guys don't just go ahead and order a bunch of inventory from that supplier and then when them come when the inventory them come now a crap I'm not like them the inventory them um they're not good quality so order like a small um portion of inventory from that supplier and test them out to ensure that their quality um pieces that you're actually offering to your customers because if you don't offer customer crap obviously um, you're not going to build a strong customer base or you're not going to build a good brand because customers they want value for the money because it happened to me once where I did not when I was just um, I was just starting out in business it happened to me where I ordered some uh, some anklets and when I ordered the anklets them changed color because they weren't stainless steel the material said alloy but I was just starting out in business so I did not know that um, they were actually going to change color so that's what happened to me and I learned from that mistake look here and I learned from that mistake so that's my boss right about him this dog bro so that's what happened to me and I learned from that mistake and I'm taking steps to ensure that when I order inventory from a vendor they're actually good quality that I can sell my customers to because even until this day I must still have them anklets because I cannot sell them because um they're not good quality so we can't supply them there. we can't provide them there to my customers that's one thing make sure that you um, buy quality pieces for your business and I'm speaking from experience <laughs> step number 11 now is to start marketing and counting down to your launch day so what that simply means is that post on those social media platforms that you created in step number nine so start posting on your instagram coming soon start post some little sneak peek and them something day because if you just come on instagram one day and go so boom and other people them face we start one business come by when you think i got happen when it just come up so the one in the business so and uh, people now go too intrigued to purchase from your business so chances are you're not gonna make any sales on launch day because I'm not even gonna call that launch day I'm not gonna say you're not gonna make sales with your hurry come up 
so take the time and properly plan out uh, your business or properly plan out your launch they can set a launch date and start marketing and pushing all your efforts towards launching a business on that day now when I tell us to set launch date like we are next year and I say oh no I say get everything in place can I tell us to get everything in place before the launch or set no far launch date and I'll work towards that just set a reasonable date um, that you can actually go ahead and launch your business and work towards that and start promoting your business start building up the hype and the anticipation for your business so when I launch people just uh, bust to your door like how they might want to pass them and they right now to go shop in other words like how when one new store open or no ready to go shop so build up the hype and anticipation towards your launch date and that brings me to step and that brings me to the last and final step and that is step number 12 and that step is to launch your business because when you already put all the things in place you already build a lot of anticipation you already um, promote your products and build up the hype and all that you already get your products your packaging supplies where you can package your products in so you already have all of that in place now so the final step now is to just go ahead and launch that business final step now is to just go ahead and launch that business so i do hope that this video was helpful to you guys as i know that you guys a lot of you guys have this question i don't know where to start on uh, going going ahead and starting that business do hope that this video was helpful to you guys because i know that um a lot of you guys may have this question on how you could actually go ahead and start your business so i just gave you all that information hope i'm gonna write it down make notes and actually listen to what was said in the video because i did drop some gems in the video of how you guys could actually get started because when i was just starting out maybe i know none of them saw me there so I did all of that again the research I did the research again the experience and now I'm sharing it with you guys if you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave a like comment let me know um, if you're gonna start a business in 2022 here right after you just watch this video so comment and let me know um, if this video was helpful or if you don't know a friend but um need to start a business where wanting to start a business but don't know how send them over you know share this video to them and if you guys actually like this content go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell and become a part of the boss family so we can all um start our business here in 2022 if you if you haven't already started so thank you guys so much for watching this big video <laughs> I don't know, but that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.